Especially in today's day and age of mask wearing, we've all realized how much some of us relied on lip reading to better understand when individuals are speaking. Well, it's no different for AI systems. ZDNet's Tiernan Ray is here with us. Uh, Tiernan, Meta has recently published uh, some research on this. Tell us about it. Beth, you know, Meta is the company that is trying to create the metaverse. And so they have a number of initiatives ongoing to try and detect real world signals. And those could be things such as what are people saying? Uh, and so they've been developing artificial intelligence that might possibly combine what is typically automatic speech recognition, which comes from the audio signal alone with looking at the movements of people's lips and seeing if there's some kind of benefit to combining the two. A week ago, they introduced this research that takes the traditional audio signal that is in the form of waves, images of waveforms, and they combined it with frames from a video of a person speaking. And they got the system to combine these two signals, the auditory component and the visual component of lips moving into one single neural network. And they found that when they did this, they were actually able to both improve the performance of AI in detecting what is being said just from the lip movements alone, as well as improving the traditional auditory only detection of what's spoken as when, for example, you say, to your smart assistant, something like, hey, or okay, and then you give a spoken command, which has been around for a long time. So it turns out that having both the auditory signal, the waveform, and having the images and frames of video combined into one neural network actually can improve both of these things at the same time. So what does this look like outside of the metaverse? Uh, you know, we know in metaverse, people will be seeing us. Um, but like you mentioned, my Google Assistant can't see me. So what does that look like for other sources? This is a preliminary stage, Beth, because this work was done detecting what happens in recorded videos. So the outcome at the moment would be that a software program can look at a recorded video of someone talking and improve in aspects of detecting what they're figuring out what they're saying from lip movements, for example, or it could consume a pre-recorded audio, audio only recording and improve just by having been trained. But these are pre-recorded and I think that can't be emphasized enough. A lip reader, a human lip reader in the real world goes to a conference, right? It goes to the UN, uh, and is able to pick up what is being spoken in real time in the real world. And we're not quite there yet. So for the time being, it seems like the main benefits outside of a metaverse would be to improve some software that is supposed to perhaps uh, transcribe uh, pre-recorded uh, meetings, video or audio feeds, uh, and so it would be an enhancement maybe to that kind of software. We already know that does things like transcriptions. It's not the same as real-time detection when someone's speaking in the real world. Okay. So, well, that's good to know because as you know, being a journalist, you go back through after you um, have done a recording or an interview of some type and you have the free service, transcribe it, and it is all over the place, um, knowing that that can improve uh, as AI improves. Uh, that's a really good thing for us. Right, you still have two tiers of service. You have the automatic, which is cheapy, cheapy, cheapy. And then you have the one where a human being goes back and uses those automatic tools. And it's always a vastly improved degree of transcription. So you're not even there yet where you can trust with a recording that the computer program can just do a flawless transcription. So this could help in that way. Yeah, yeah anything helps. Um, and it's been fascinating to watch AI grow. Uh, in the past few years, it's really started to take off. And it'll be interesting to see where it is uh, a few years from now. So as always, to make it easy for you, we have Tiernan's article linked right down below if you want to check that out. Um, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to stick with ZDNet for all things AI. Okay.